way of making meth has police worried about your safety, even if you've never touched the drug. Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker shows us how someone could be making meth near you and you wouldn't even know it. 17-month-old Patrick Lurch died after swallowing methamphetamine. I think that the public perception is that with the decrease in the lab incidents that we saw a few years ago, uh, the trailers catching fire, the, the hotel rooms exploding, that some of that public awareness, consciousness, dissipated a little bit. From the DEA's office in Washington, D.C., Special Agent Jeffrey Scott warns the meth epidemic has not gone away, that it just looks different. And you'll actually see sparking inside the plastic bottle. This method of cooking meth combines unstable ingredients in a plastic bottle. These are items that would be used in what's typically called the one pot cook or the shake and bake. A DEA chemist based in San Diego asked us not to show his face. He showed Team 10 the chemicals used to create an explosive mix, chemicals that are easily found in brake fluid and Drano. They also use lithium batteries, which they will take apart. But the key ingredient is ephedrine, which is found in cold medicines. The shake and bake or one pot mobile cooking method is said to be as easy as baking cookies. It can take less than an hour and is even more volatile than meth labs. These type of labs are actually exploding uh, because of the chemical reactions and the solvents in them. The DEA's Gary Hill from San Diego says large-scale cartel operations make thousands of pounds of meth, but the birthplace of the one-pot method is nowhere near the Mexican border. The shake-and-bake method started in the Midwest, where Patrick Lurch died. Uh, we see that problem in the Midwest because of where majority of the methamphetamine that comes into the United States is actually coming from Mexico. The DEA and local health agencies warn the shake and bake method is headed our way. They've seen it in Arizona and say we can expect to see something the Midwest has already experienced, a growing number of burn patients. The people who, uh, who utilize meth are the ones who use this process. The bottles can be hidden in a backpack as someone walks around San Diego. The meth can be cooked in a closet or a car. You're talking about chemicals that are explosive by nature, and you're talking about individuals who are not necessarily skilled when they do this. And the danger doesn't end when the meth is made. What's left over is also explosive and toxic. The thing to advise children are is if you see any bottles with anything in them, don't touch them, you know, certainly don't pick them up. Patrick Lurch's mother and uncle were sentenced to life in prison, convicted after the meth they cooked killed him. If you have questions about meth or need help, you can call the meth hotline at 887-662-6384. With Team 10, I'm investigator Mitch Blocker. And 10news.com has in-depth information about meth from the frequency of meth use in our culture to an interactive map featuring laws about meth where you live. It's all on 10news.com.